CataractCoach.com. YAG laser treatment for vitreous floaters. Wow, this could be something, right? Now, we all have patients who complain, often very bitterly, about the problems they have from their floaters. And typically, we don't have a whole lot to offer. I mean, we all get vitreous opacities with age, right? We get a posterior vitreous attachment, a white ring. Even I got a couple of floaters that bother me. But the question is, what can you do about them? Of course, we can do a full vitrectomy to remove them. We can also do a YAG laser treatment. But what are the risks and how efficacious is it? Now, in yesterday's podcast with Paul Singh, we discussed all these things. And he has offered up two videos, today and tomorrow. Today, using a YAG laser to break up the vitreous opacities. And you'll see that today. And then tomorrow, using a novel new device to do an anterior vitrectomy, again, for floaters. Let's watch carefully, leave a comment below, what do you think about these techniques? And in the interim, I gotta go exercise and enjoy this beautiful city. Like you, I have not really done this procedure. So instead of me narrating, let's have Paul give the full narration himself. Here we go. You see off axis there. On axis, you see we're far enough away from the nerve. There's a retina, there's the lens, and here's the floater, so good. Don't move. Now you're going to hear some clicking sounds. This is normal, okay? No worries. Here we go. Look, a hair, a hair to your right. There you go. See, Pam, how the floater is not jumping far away? Mm -hmm. That's important. That's very important. That's kind of the, the efficiency of the laser because of the energy beam. It's a very truncated beam. Mm -hmm. What that allows is for a very efficient energy source, not a lot of scattering of energy or dissipation of energy, which is why the floater stays close by where you are. You don't want to sh sh jump around everywhere. See how it's gone pretty much? Mm -hmm. It's awesome. This is a YAG vitreolysis case using the LX Ultra Q Reflex laser, specifically designed for vitreolysis. Here we are visualizing a large Weiss ring in the middle of the vitreous, and using the coaxial illumination of the laser, we are able to visualize the lens all the way to the retina to give ourselves spatial context. In this case, we see the large Weiss ring in the middle of the vitreous and the retina not being in focus, thus allowing us to feel comfortable firing the laser. Coaxial illumination is key in this case because it does give us that spatial context that we need. Coaxial illumination allows the red reflex and allows the visualization of the retina because the aiming beam, the laser, the illumination tower, as well as the oculars are all on the same optical pathway, thus giving us the needed spatial context for this procedure to be done safely and efficacious. In this case, you also see the floater is being vaporized. It is not being moved away or bounced around. We are mechanically breaking it apart as well as vaporizing because there is a plasma reaction. It's also a non-linear rise in energy as you increase the energy on the laser. Therefore, increasing from 5 to 10 millijoules does not double the amount of dispersion of energy. You also notice the opacity is staying very close to where the plasma energy is being fired, not scattering far away. This is also due to the improved efficiency of this laser using a narrow Gaussian 4 nanosecond pulse. Here we are with less than two minutes, and most of the floater has been dissolved, just a few small remnants remaining, and the patient's almost done and very happy.